Hi, my name is Christine. I don't want to leave any other information, but I was watching the news, and um, I actually, the 208, I just wanted to thank them. I'm getting a whole $25 back. Woohoo! Thank you very much. Woohoo! Christine found out she had 25 bucks coming to her. Well, how? I'll tell you. After we did a story on all the unclaimed property Idaho's treasurer's office is holding on to, a lot of you looked into it. Wednesday was National Unclaimed Property Day, and Idaho has a lot of that, as we said. $228 million worth. So Andrew Bartline went out to see if he could help some of those people claim theirs. What's lost has to be found, right? Does losing my mind count? Jody Maltair's been there before. Yeah, I guess I've lost things. I lost a pair of of AirPods one time on an airplane and, um, you know, I'll just misplace things here and there. But in the great state of Idaho, I feel comfortable here. I feel at home. Lost property would be returned to its rightful owner, right? No idea. Turns out. So those things are common. Idaho as State Treasurer fact, Julie Ellsworth says the state holds on to a lot of money that's not theirs. As a matter of fact, we have $228 million that needs to be claimed in the state of Idaho. State treasures are heightening the need for people to come and claim their their lost money. The message extends to businesses too. A quick trip around the block shows the Matador on 8th Street can claim up to $50 from an internet provider. And just up the road, St. Michael's Parish is due a whopping $7 in total owed from a bank and a power provider. It's happening all over the United States. So we have a network with everybody in the United States. If you've forgotten things in New York City, there's a way for you to claim that. that. But by law, um, companies and businesses want to clear their books. And by law, they can sweep those lost items that people have not claimed for over a year. They can take them off their books and remit them to us to hang on to. We, we hold on to them until they're claimed. And in the meantime, we work to find the owners. Owners. Well, that's definitely me. There's not too many Maltairs in the Valley. That includes Jody. So it looks like I've got some money due owed by uh, Delta Dental, JP Morgan, five cents. That's a good one. Delta's looks pretty substantial. Like a hundred dollars. Interesting. And completely unexpected. No idea. I haven't been a Delta um, dental user in probably eight or nine years. Meaning the treasury has held it for the same amount of time. There's some people that find $30,000. I think um, two months ago, I think that was the highest one that was returned. Last year, we returned $16 million back to the rightful owners. Wow. Kind of feel like Santa Claus. <laughs> and the gifts can go a long ways, even if the return is a comparably small sum. And hopefully it'll be enough money to claim it'll pay for my lunch. To foot the next bill. <laughs> Absolutely. I hope anybody watching probably ought to go check it out and find out if they're owed something. Again, a lot of you did. The treasurer, treasurer's office says they also get abandoned safe deposit boxes. These items are auctioned off, but the cash from those sales, well, those are still owed to the family of the original deposit box, which is how some people might be surprised to see some significant dollars by their name when they log on to the website. Christine, not the only one who found some cash belonging to her. See this one from Laura. She, the question on the unclaimed property says, if there are several people in the same area with the same name, how can you ascertain it is you, especially when it's coming from a utility company or services the, that services the whole area? Simple answer, Laura. When you go through the process to claim your property, they ask for your social security number. And supposedly there's only one of you that has that number. Just checked and found I'm owed one cent, says John Arisman. One cent. He is celebrating tonight. I assume last night. Maybe it didn't extend it tonight. Thank you for the segment on yourmoneyido.gov. I got back over 50 bucks. I owe you a beer. Well, that sounds like a little bit more than one beer, Steve. Just saying. By the way, let's say you log on to yourmoneyido.gov and you decide you don't really need that 15 cents that is owed to you. Well, there's an option there to donate. Also, since we ran this story, the state treasurer has had more than 2,800 claims filed in just two days and they've returned more than $1.3 million so far. So if you want to help take a chunk out of that $228 million and rightfully claim that money that belongs to you, just go to ktvb.com, and we have a link to that website in this story.